Uh, welcome back. Um, part two of tutorial 13. Um, when you install uh, VirtualBox, you will, you know, essentially just double click on the, if you're on a Mac, the DMG, it will install the package. And when you first kick it off from your applications folder, it will bring up, you know, VirtualBox Manager, which will look something very similar to this, except you won't have anything in here. Um, I got tons of machines in here because I'm forever using this, killing machines, creating machines. So you will see maybe nothing in here whatsoever because you have yet to create a virtual machine. If you're used to using VBox, um, my apologies that this is a bit pedantic probably. You'll get used to VBox very, very quickly indeed. Um, but we're going to create our virtual machine um, for this tutorial, which will be a VYOS machine. I've got a couple here already uh, and a clone. Um, but I'm going to actually just create one from scratch. So before I do that, um, I said that we would have two networks. So in order that this will work correctly, you need to go to uh, VirtualBox and bring up the preferences which will bring up this box here. And in the preferences, we actually want to <laughs> escape that. Uh, my mouse is a little bit sensitive, so apologies. Uh, we want to go to the network. And in the network, you will have nothing in here at the moment on host-only networks. So a host-only network will create this private network that we want to have. We don't want our virtual boxes that we will be creating to go out through a network adapter called a bridged adapter, which would enable it to see my home router here, my home hub, and then head off from there to the internet. We actually want private networks only. So you click on plus and hey presto, it creates VBoxNet one, uh, sorry, zero. Um, VBoxNet zero is yet to be configured. It has a default configuration which is on 192.168 network. We don't want that. We want an actual 172.16.0 network. Now, I'm going to say that this interface is going to be number two on this network because I like to keep my routers as number one. Um, we're also going to have a mask of 16 bits, so 255.255.0.0. Then click on DHCP and enable the DHCP server. We can go back and grab this into our buffer just to make the typing easier here. Now the address for the DHCP server, I'm gonna make 100. And I will give it the same mask. The address, so our DHCP server provides addresses to hosts that ask for us with the DHCP protocol. So we need an address range. That's what the lower and the upper boundaries are. So for our network, I'm gonna start this at 101 and I'm gonna end it at 254. So those are the addresses I'm gonna allow it to have. We also need a second network, which is gonna be on the 192.168. I'm going to make this the 56 network, and again, I'm going to have IP address 2 on that network. The mask is fine. We're just going to go with the standard Class C mask. Um, I'm going to enable, and again, I'm going to take this just to make the typing a bit easier for myself. And this is going to be 100 as well for its D DHCP server. And the boundaries, again, 101 to 254. So that's how to configure your host-only network adapters. Two different networks there, VBox Network 0 and Network 1. Go OK. Now we need to create a VYOS router, so our virtual router. So what am I going to call this? I'm going to call this Tutorial uh, 13 just to differentiate it from all those other machines there. Uh, you will choose a Linux. It's gonna be a 32-bit Debian machine. 32-bit Debian. That's what you're gonna choose. K 
continue, uh, 512 would be vastly too much, so I'm just going to make it 256. Continue, uh, create a virtual hard drive, absolutely, we're going to want one of those. Um, I might as well just stick with the VDI. Um, I'll create a fixed size one, and we're only going to need, I mean, we're only going to need a gig for this machine because it's only holding routing tables. There won't be any need for a massive disk. So a gig will be fine. It's gonna go away and create that, as you can see here. Give that a couple of seconds. That's cool, and there's our machine. So, we're gonna go into that machine, into the settings. We're gonna make sure that we get rid of the floppy for a start. That's fine, out of the boot order. So this is the order that it will boot in. We will be booting from CD, that's fine. Um, processor, you need to enable this. PAE NX, have to have that or else the machine just won't boot. Um, display, hey, I mean, it's one of those things, we don't need any, but as soon as you go below 16, it brings up an error. And if you don't like seeing errors all the time, it's only going to eat 16 meg, so you, know, you can leave it at that. On our storage, um, it won't be empty. We're going to actually choose a virtual CD. So uh, if we go to Downloads, we have our VYOS in there. I'm going to click Open. So we now have a mounted VYOS ISO that we downloaded earlier. Uh, whoops, didn't want to click OK. I want to go to audio. I'm going to disable the audio because there won't be any audio on this machine. And the network. So by default, it's enabled a NAT network. Well, we went about creating host-only adapters. And on adapter 1, which will come up as ETH0, we're going to choose VBoxNet0. Click Advanced and then click Allow. So they'll be in promiscuous mode. So they will be able to talk to each other. Not root through, but they'll, it will see the router. Click OK. Oops. Uh, before we do that, enable the serial port. That's it. Um, we do have one more thing to do. Sorry, I didn't do the second adapter, did I? Adapter 2. We're going to have a second Ethernet interface on this, and this time I'm choosing VBoxNet 1. Same again, allow. Okay, and we're ready to fire this puppy up. So we click start and start to load the machine. Hit return, give that a couple of seconds. Okay, our machine is up. By default, the ISO has a user VYOS and a password VYOS. So that's it. Our machine is up. It's running. It's running VYOS. And we can do a show interfaces to see ETH0 and ETH1. So you can see them there. Their status is up, up but they have no IP address. And that's fine because we haven't actually installed this thing yet. We've just booted from the CD-ROM, but at least we can see that we have two ethernet interfaces configured. Uh, they have no um, addressing on them yet for layer three IP addressing, but they are there in terms of layer two because they're up, up. So, we want to install the machine. So it's the easiest thing in the world to install a Viata, you go install image. Hit return. Would we like to continue? Because it is going to scrub our hard disk. Yes, we will. It will find the drive. Click auto, that's fine. It's found a one gig drive there, which is exactly what we configured. It's SDA. Uh, it'll destroy all the data. Absolutely it will. 
Um, how big to create it? Take the lot. So we now have a file system created. Would we like to name it? I mean, hey, you can name it if you want. I'm just going to take the default at the moment. It's copying a file system on there. Um, what configuration file? You'll get very used to this file uh, very, very quickly indeed. The default configuration file will stay in slash opt via etc config boot dot default. Uh, and we will be using that to scrub things in the end. And you can use that really effectively with the load command to overwrite the configuration that you've actually built into config.boot. But for the moment, we're going to use config.boot. It's going to ask us for a password for this user. It will create this user by default, VYOS. Password, well, why not stick with the VYOS? Which drive to put Grub? Grub is a GNU utility tool for managing the boot order. So we're going to say SDA, which is fine because there's only one disk on this machine. If we didn't, it wouldn't boot at all. So that's it. It's that simple. It has now installed a bootable image onto our SDA1, which is our hard disk here, on this particular virtual machine. And, you know, that's VYOS or our Viata ready to rock and roll. Uh, I'm going to power off. You could do reboot, which is fine, but I'm going to power off because I'm going to be extra careful and dismount that CD-ROM now. Okay, that's fine. Now I'm going to go into settings again on this virtual machine, tutorial 13. I'm going to go to storage. I'm going to go to here and click minus. Do you want to remove this? Yes, absolutely. So there is no CD-ROM anymore. And now we're going to just start this machine again. There's no CD-ROM, so it'll have to boot, or not, as the case may be, from the hard disk. But I can see already it's found Grub, and this is what you'll be presented with. Just hit return for a keyboard video mouse console. Ignore the error. It will mean note. And that's it. The machine's coming up. What was the user? VYOS. VYOS was our password. And we can show our interfaces. And there they are. So we now have installed VYOS on the hard disk. Let's pause for a second and then we're going to start going through the other items.